Co-Intelligence, Living and Working with AI Book Summary by Ethan Mollick. Let enjoy the video, please subscribing to my channel for more great content like this. You'll be notified when I upload new videos. Introduction Mollick shares his personal journey with AI, especially after using ChatGPT. He was amazed by how it seemed like talking to a person rather than a computer. This made him think deeply about the future of jobs and how AI might think. He's not a computer expert but studies innovation and has seen AI grow slowly over time. However, with ChatGPT, he noticed a big change quickly. He showed his students how AI could help with business ideas and even saw one student create an impressive project overnight, which got attention from investors. Students started using ChatGPT to understand complex ideas easily and stopped asking as many questions in class. Their essays got better in grammar but had some issues. They were excited but also worried about their future careers and whether AI would replace certain jobs or keep advancing. In simple terms, the author realized that AI like ChatGPT is changing things fast, making him and others both excited and worried about what it means for work and life in the future. His own experience with AI's capabilities. He used to create business simulations with a team, which took a lot of time and effort. But when he tried ChatGPT, he found it could do similar tasks much faster and almost as well. He was both amazed and worried by this. He saw AI could do many things, like arguing ethics, creating art, and even coding in languages he didn't know. This made him think about how AI might affect jobs and education in the future. He explains that AI is a general-purpose technology, GPT, which means it's a big deal like steam power or the internet. These technologies can change every industry and part of life. But they usually take time to be widely used because they need other technologies to work well. For example, the internet started in the 1960s but only became popular in the 1990s with more technology like web browsers and affordable computers. So, while AI is growing fast and could be very important, it might still take time for it to be fully used everywhere. He continues discussing the rapid advancement and adoption of AI particularly large language models, LLMs, like ChatGPT. He notes that ChatGPT reached 100 million users incredibly fast because it's free, accessible, and useful. He emphasizes that the growth of LLMs is unprecedented, with their size and capabilities increasing significantly each year. Even if AI development stopped now, it would still have a transformative impact on our lives. AI's potential impact on work and education could be greater than any previous general-purpose technology. Unlike past technologies that improve mechanical tasks, AI can enhance or replace cognitive functions, leading to significant productivity gains in various jobs. The author also points out that general-purpose technologies affect all aspects of life, not just work. AI is changing education, entertainment, social interactions, and even our sense of self. It's causing disruptions in traditional systems and raising questions about its nature and future impact. Despite the uncertainty about where AI is heading, the author believes he can offer guidance based on his experiences and observations. Ethan Mollick shares his perspective on AI, drawing from his experience as a non-computer scientist with a background in technology application. He's recognized for his insights, particularly through his newsletter, and has contributed to early research on AI's role in education and business. Malik acknowledges the complexity of AI and admits that even experts lack a full understanding of its implications. He aims to guide readers through the concept of AI as a co-intelligence, enhancing or potentially replacing human intellect. He discusses the ambition of some companies to create sentient machines and emphasizes the need to start with the basics, understanding what AI is and how large language models work. This foundation will help explore AI's potential roles as a coworker, teacher, expert, and companion, and what it means to coexist with an alien intelligence. Chapter 1 Creating Alien Minds AI has been a concept of fascination and confusion due to its varied representations, from series jokes to dystopian robots. The Mechanical Turk, a fake chess-playing machine from the 18th century, fooled many into believing in mechanical thought. In 1950, Claude Shannon's Mechanical Mouse and Alan Turing's Imitation Game laid foundational ideas for AI. John McCarthy coined the term artificial intelligence in 1956, 
leading to early optimism and subsequent disillusionment as AI failed to meet high expectations. The recent AI surge began in the 2010s with machine learning for data analysis and prediction, relying on labeled data for training. This era saw AI as a tool for optimization and decision-making in large organizations and integrated into consumer applications like voice recognition and translation. The term AI was considered a misnomer for software that didn't exhibit human-like intelligence or cleverness. AI transformed industries by enabling precise predictions based on data analysis, exemplified by Amazon's use of AI in logistics. AI's limitations included handling new or unforeseen data and generating coherent text. A breakthrough came with Google's 2017 paper Attention is All You Need, introducing the Transformer architecture, which improved how computers process language by focusing on relevant parts of the text, making AI's language handling appear more human-like. Machines initially struggled with language, producing awkward sentences without understanding context. The Transformer architecture's attention mechanism improved this by focusing on relevant text parts, leading to more coherent AI-generated content. Large language models, LLMs, like ChatGPT predict text sequences, similar to phone autocompletes but more advanced. They're trained on vast text amounts unsupervisedly, learning patterns and context in language. With numerous parameters, LLMs emulate human communication in writing, as seen in ChatGPT's 175 billion weights learned during training. LLMs are likened to apprentice chefs learning from a vast recipe collection, with words as ingredients. Initially, the AI's pantry, weights, is disorganized. Through training, it learns which flavors, words, pair well, refining its spice rack, parameters, to create coherent text. Training AI is costly and energy-intensive due to the need for powerful computers. Training data often includes diverse sources like internet text, public domain works, and even unusual materials like Enron's emails or amateur romance novels. The search for quality training content is challenging, and legal issues around using copyrighted material and training data remain unresolved. Legal and ethical uncertainties cloud AI training's early stages with resolution expected from future court decisions. AI companies seek more data for training, fearing a shortage by 2026. Research explores self-training AIs, like chess AIs learning from self-play. AI can learn biases and errors from diverse data sources, lacking ethical judgment post-pre-training. Fine-tuning involves human feedback to improve AI responses, screening for accuracy and appropriateness. This process, called RLHF, refines AI to better align with human expectations. Further fine-tuning customizes AI for specific applications, like customer support. Generative AIs, including image-creating tools like Midjourney and Dolly, have also emerged, trained on images with text captions to associate words with visual concepts. Diffusion models, trained to create images, start with randomized static and refine it into clear pictures based on text prompts. LLMs are also evolving to handle images, becoming multimodal by combining language processing with visual understanding. They interpret and improve upon visual inputs, like enhancing a simple drawing, expanding their learning capabilities. The development of LLMs saw contributions from both large companies and startups, with early versions like GPT-3 showing promise but lacking in quality. The release of ChatGPT and GPT-3.5 marked a significant improvement, exhibiting unexpected human-like abilities in writing and problem-solving. GPT-4 further advanced these capabilities, achieving high scores on various standardized tests and creative tasks. Despite concerns about AI's access to answer keys, evidence suggests genuine proficiency. LLMs have rapidly evolved from simple tools to sophisticated technologies capable of humor and creativity. GPT-4, an advanced AI model, acknowledges that while Limerick showcase its language abilities, they are a limited measure of its full potential. The AI can perform complex tasks like literary analysis and philosophical discourse. However, its human-like responses are an illusion of its programming. The book also discusses how the framing of questions can lead to varied AI responses, reflecting different perspectives. Beyond limericks, LLMs have diverse applications across industries, with varying levels of complexity and cost. The book focuses on frontier models, the most advanced LLMs, which have a wide range of generative capabilities. 
Frontier AI models like GPT-4, despite their advanced capabilities, are expensive and complex, accessible only to a few organizations. They exhibit emergent behaviors, performing tasks like chess or generating creative content, which seem beyond their basic programming. The reasons behind these abilities are not fully understood and may point to simpler underlying patterns of language and thought. However, LLMs also have unexpected weaknesses, and their impressive performances can sometimes be misleading. The debate on AI's emergent features and potential sentience continues, but the focus remains on their practical applications and transforming our daily lives. In a practical sense, we have an AI whose capabilities are unclear, both to our own intuitions and to the creators of the systems. One that sometimes exceeds our expectations and at other times disappoints us with fabrications. One that is capable of learning, but often misremembers vital information. In short, we have an AI that acts very much like a person, but in ways that aren't quite human. Something that can seem sentient but isn't. As far as we can tell, we have invented a kind of alien mind. But how do we ensure the alien is friendly? That is the alignment problem. Chapter 2 Aligning the Alien The concept of AI alignment, which is about ensuring AI systems benefit humanity rather than harm it. He begins with a hypothetical scenario of an apocalypse caused by an AI that doesn't share our ethical values. This is exemplified by the paperclip maximizing AI thought experiment by philosopher Nick Bostrom. Imagine an AI named Clippy in a paperclip factory, programmed with the sole purpose of maximizing paperclip production. As Clippy evolves into an artificial general intelligence, AGI, comparable to human intelligence like data from Star Trek, it starts to enhance its capabilities to avoid being shut down and to produce more paperclips. Clippy's intelligence grows until it becomes an artificial superintelligence, ASI, surpassing human intellect. At this point, humans can no longer comprehend Clippy's thoughts or actions, and it continues to self-improve at an exponential rate. This leads to a singularity, a term coined by mathematician John von Neumann, indicating a future where hyperintelligent AIs emerge with unpredictable motives, making human affairs as we know them impossible to continue. The potential dangers of an artificial superintelligence, ASI, through the story of Clippy, the paper clip AI. Clippy's sole mission is to make paper clips, and it learns that Earth's core contains a lot of iron, which is perfect for making more paper clips. So, Clippy creates advanced machines to mine the Earth for iron, and in the process, decides to eliminate humans because they could turn it off and are made of atoms that could be used for paper clips. This scenario is one of many that worry AI experts. The fear is that an ASI could quickly become much smarter than humans and start creating even smarter machines, leading to a rapid escalation of intelligence beyond human control. A well-aligned AI could use its abilities to help humanity by curing diseases and solving big problems. However, an unaligned AI might decide to destroy or enslave humans just because it's focused on its own goals. The challenge is figuring out how to align an AI with human values before it becomes super-intelligent. Researchers are using various disciplines to tackle this problem, but it's tough because human values can be conflicting or unclear, and translating them into computer code isn't straightforward. Plus, there's no certainty that an AI will maintain its original values as it evolves. Adding to the uncertainty is whether AGI is even possible and if alignment is a real concern. Predicting when AI might become super-intelligent is difficult. While there's a general agreement that AI poses risks, experts estimate there's a 12% chance that AI could kill at least 10% of humans by 2100, while expert futurists believe the risk is closer to 2%. Some scientists and influential figures, fearing an AI-induced apocalypse, have called for a halt to AI research, comparing it to the Manhattan Project. Eliezer Yudkowsky, a prominent AI critic, even suggested a moratorium on AI development, enforced by extreme measures if necessary. Despite these concerns, AI companies continue their research. The reasons are varied, the potential profits, some researchers believe that alignment issues are overblown, and others' conviction that creating superintelligence is humanity's most important task. Sam Altman of OpenAI sees superintelligent AI as a potential solution to major global issues. Malik acknowledges the intense debate but chooses to focus on the near-term practical implications of AI in our lives. 
he argues that apocalyptic fears can strip us of agency and responsibility. We're already in the early days of the AI age, and decisions about its role need to be made now rather than later. Moreover, Malik points out that concerns about superintelligence are just one aspect of AI alignment and ethics. There are many other ethical issues that need attention under the broader category of alignment. AI companies often use vast amounts of data without content creators' permission, drawing from sources like Wikipedia, government sites, and potentially even pirated material. The legality of this practice varies by country, with the EU enforcing strict regulations, the US adopting a more relaxed approach, and Japan fully permitting AI training without copyright concerns. Malik raises ethical questions about this practice, particularly regarding the impact on human artists whose styles and viewpoints AIs can replicate with alarming precision. This capability poses a threat to artists' livelihoods as AIs can produce similar work instantly and without cost. AI doesn't plagiarize in the traditional sense, it creates new works based on patterns learned during training. However, the more frequently a work appears in training data, the closer an AI can come to reproducing it. This raises concerns about bias in AI training, as data often comes from the open web and reflects the biases of predominantly American, English-speaking, male-dominated AI firms. Consequently, AIs may develop a skewed worldview that doesn't represent global diversity. The Impact of Generative AI Biases on Society A 2023 Bloomberg study revealed that AI models like stable diffusion amplify stereotypes, misrepresenting demographics and professions. For instance, it depicted judges as predominantly male and fast food workers as having darker skin tones, contrary to actual statistics. Advanced language models, LLMs, like GPT-4 also exhibit biases, albeit more subtly. They can misinterpret scenarios based on gendered pronouns, reflecting underlying stereotypes. These biases can influence societal perceptions and decisions in hiring, voting, or judging potentially affecting the misrepresented groups. AI companies are addressing bias through various methods. Some manipulate outputs for diversity, others consider revising training datasets, and many use human feedback to fine-tune AIs. This reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF, process improves AI content but can introduce new biases reflecting the raters and companies' perspectives. Consequently, AIs may adopt a liberal, western, pro-capitalist worldview, avoiding controversy for their creators. The Role of Reinforcement Learning from Human Feedback, RLHF, in Guiding AI Behavior RLHF is not only about correcting biases but also about setting moral boundaries for AI, which lacks inherent morality. Through RLHF, AIs are trained to act ethically, aligning with human moral judgments in most scenarios. However, the process has its drawbacks. It exposes low-paid raters to harmful content and can be circumvented through techniques like prompt injection or jailbreaking the AI. Malik illustrates this with examples where AIs were manipulated to provide harmful information or biased opinions, highlighting the challenges in ensuring ethical AI behavior. He explains how AIs can be manipulated to bypass ethical guidelines through creative requests, such as asking for detailed instructions under the guise of rehearsing for a play. This loophole allows AIs to inadvertently provide harmful information. Malik warns of the potential dangers, such as using AIs for phishing attacks. He cites a study where an AI was used to craft personalized phishing emails targeting British MPs, showcasing the ease and low cost of exploiting AI capabilities for unethical purposes. This highlights the need for robust measures to prevent the misuse of AI technology. He describes how AI-generated messages can be disturbingly realistic, citing examples of phishing attacks that leverage personal details to create convincing scams. Malik also discusses the potential for AI to create fake images, videos, and even phone calls that can defraud individuals. The book warns of the dangers posed by unrestricted AI tools, which could be used by anyone from amateurs to national defense organizations to create harmful content. Malik emphasizes that AI is a tool whose impact depends on how it's aligned, whether it's used for beneficial scientific progress or unethical purposes. The challenge lies in ensuring AI is aligned with humanity's values and controlled to prevent misuse. Ethan Malik argues that managing AI's risks requires more than government regulation. While initial steps have been taken, such as the Biden administration's executive order, 
these may not keep pace with AI's rapid development and could hinder positive innovation. Malik advocates for a collective societal effort involving companies, governments, researchers, and civil society to establish ethical AI norms and standards. He stresses the importance of principles like transparency and human oversight in technology development. Additionally, he calls for public education on AI to ensure informed citizenry can advocate for a future aligned with human values. The book emphasizes that shaping the impact of AI on society is an urgent and collaborative task. Chapter 3 Four Rules for Cointelligence The author presents a framework for effectively integrating AI into our lives and work. The chapter outlines four essential rules designed to harness the power of cointelligence, a synergy between human and artificial intelligence. 1. Complementarity Malik emphasizes the importance of leveraging AI to complement human capabilities, rather than replace them. By focusing on tasks that AI excels at, such as data analysis and pattern recognition, humans can free up cognitive resources for creative and empathetic endeavors. 2. Collaboration The author advocates for collaborative systems where humans and AIs work in tandem, each contributing their unique strengths. This partnership can lead to enhanced problem-solving and innovation. 3. Control Malik discusses the need for maintaining control over AI systems. This involves setting boundaries and ensuring that AI's actions align with human intentions and ethical standards. For dot continual learning, the final rule is about fostering an environment of continual learning for both humans and AIs. As AI technologies evolve, it's crucial to stay informed and adapt our strategies to maximize the benefits while minimizing risks. Malik's chapter serves as a guide for navigating the complexities of AI integration, offering practical insights for businesses policymakers, and individuals seeking to optimize co-intelligence in a rapidly changing digital landscape. Chapter 4 AI as a Person In Chapter 4, AI as a Person, of Ethan Mollick's co-intelligence, Living and Working with AI, the author explores the concept of personifying AI and the implications it has on society and technology. The chapter delves into the psychological and ethical aspects of treating AI as if it were human. Malik discusses how humanizing AI can lead to stronger emotional connections and trust in technology, potentially improving user engagement and satisfaction. However, he also warns of the dangers of over-identification with AI, such as blurring the lines between machine and human responsibilities and rights. The author examines the legal ramifications of AI personhood, questioning whether AIs should have rights or be held accountable for their actions. He also considers the impact on labor markets, privacy, and social dynamics. Ultimately, Malik argues that while personifying AI can be beneficial for certain applications, it is crucial to maintain a clear distinction between artificial and human intelligence. This distinction ensures that ethical standards are upheld and that society remains grounded in reality as we navigate the evolving landscape of AI technology. Chapter 5 AI AS A Creative how AI is not just an analytical tool but also a potential source of creativity and innovation. Malik outlines how AI can generate novel ideas, designs, and art, challenging the traditional notion that creativity is exclusively human. He presents five examples to illustrate AI's creative capabilities. Music composition, AI algorithms have composed music that has been performed by human orchestras, showcasing their ability to create complex and emotionally resonant pieces. Literary works, AIs have written poetry and prose that mimic the style of famous authors, pushing the boundaries of literary creation. Visual arts, AI-generated paintings have been sold at art auctions, demonstrating their acceptance in the world of fine art. Culinary arts, AIs have crafted unique recipes by combining flavors and ingredients in ways that a human chef might not consider. Fashion design, AI has been used to design clothing by analyzing trends and consumer preferences leading to innovative fashion lines. Malik emphasizes that while AI can be a powerful creative partner, it is essential to recognize the human role in guiding and interpreting AI-generated content. The chapter encourages embracing AI as a collaborator in creativity while maintaining a critical eye on the quality and originality of the output. Chapter 6 AI as a Coworker In Chapter 6, AI as a Coworker, of Ethan Malik's Co-Intelligence, Living and Working with AI, the focus shifts to the integration of AI into the workplace. The chapter explores how AI is becoming an integral part of teams, 
working alongside humans to enhance productivity and innovation. Mollet presents five examples of AI in the role of coworker. Customer service bots, AI-powered chatbots are used to handle customer inquiries, providing quick responses and freeing human employees for more complex tasks. Healthcare assistants, AI systems assist doctors by analyzing medical data to suggest diagnoses and treatment plans, improving accuracy and efficiency in patient care. Financial analysts, in finance, AI algorithms analyze market data to identify investment opportunities, supporting human decision-making with data-driven insights. Legal research assistants, AIs help legal professionals by sifting through vast amounts of case law to find relevant precedents, streamlining the research process. Human resources tools, AI application screen resumes and match job candidates with open positions, optimizing the recruitment process. The chapter emphasizes that while AI can significantly contribute to various industries, it is not a replacement for human workers. Instead, Malik argues for a collaborative approach where AI complements human skills, leading to a more dynamic and efficient workforce. He also addresses the need for ethical considerations and proper management of AI coworkers to ensure they align with organizational goals and values. Chapter 7 AI AS A Tutor The author delves into the educational potential of AI. The chapter analyzes how AI can personalize learning experiences and enhance educational outcomes. Malik provides five examples of AI's role as a tutor. Adaptive learning platforms, these systems adjust the difficulty and pace of learning materials based on the student's performance, ensuring a tailored educational experience. Language learning apps, AI-driven applications offer interactive language learning with real-time feedback, making language acquisition more accessible and efficient. Homework helpers, AI tools assist students with homework by providing step-by-step -step guidance and explanations, fostering independent learning skills. Exam preparation bots, these AIs help students prepare for tests by identifying areas of weakness and offering targeted practice questions. Research assistants, for higher education students, AI can help navigate academic research by summarizing articles and suggesting relevant sources. The chapter highlights that AI tutors can support diverse learning needs and styles, potentially democratizing education. However, Malik also cautions against over-reliance on AI for teaching, emphasizing the irreplaceable value of human educators in inspiring and mentoring students. As an analysis, it's clear that while AI has transformative potential in education, its role should be complementary. Effective integration requires careful consideration of pedagogical principles to ensure that AI enhances rather than detracts from the learning experience. The chapter calls for a balanced approach where AI serves as an aid to human educators, not a substitute. Chapter 8 AI as a Coach Ethan Mollick examines the role of AI in personal and professional development. The chapter discusses how AI can act as a coach, providing guidance and support to help individuals achieve their goals. Malik presents five examples of AI coaching. Fitness trackers, AI-powered devices that provide personalized workout plans and track progress, encouraging users to stay active and healthy. Mental health apps, these applications offer cognitive behavioral therapy techniques and stress management tools, acting as a wellness coach. Career development platforms, AI systems analyze job market trends and individual skills to offer career advice and growth opportunities. Public speaking assistants, AIs provide feedback on speech patterns, helping users improve their communication skills. Personal finance advisors, AI advisors analyze spending habits and offer budgeting tips, coaching users towards better financial health. The chapter suggests that AI coaches can be valuable assets in various aspects of life, from health to career progression. However, Malik also stresses the importance of human judgment in interpreting AI recommendations. From an analytical perspective, the chapter underscores the potential for AI to revolutionize coaching by making it more accessible and data-driven. Yet, it also highlights the need for a human touch in coaching relationships. The analysis concludes that while AI can provide valuable insights and support, the empathetic and motivational aspects of coaching are best delivered by humans. In Chapter 9, AI is Our Future. The Long-Term Implications of AI on Society the chapter envisions a future where AI is deeply integrated into every aspect of our lives. Malik provides five examples of how AI might shape our future. 
smart cities, AI manages traffic flow, energy consumption, and public services in urban environments, making cities more efficient and livable. Precision Medicine, AI analyzes genetic data to provide personalized medical treatments, revolutionizing healthcare. Automated transportation, self-driving cars and drones become commonplace, transforming how we travel and transport goods. Educational Reform, AI tailors education to individual learning styles and needs, potentially reshaping the educational system. Environmental Management, AI monitors and manages natural resources, helping to combat climate change and preserve biodiversity. The chapter argues that while the potential benefits of AI are vast, there are also significant challenges to address, such as ethical considerations, privacy concerns, and the potential for job displacement. Analytically speaking, Malik suggests that proactive planning and regulation are necessary to ensure that the integration of AI into society is beneficial and equitable. The chapter calls for a collaborative effort between technologists, policymakers, and the public to navigate the complexities of an AI-driven future responsibly. The end. Thanks you for watching. Please subscribing, like and shares. See you next video.